do I want to eat a bug? <laughs> it's chunky. I don't want to do it. It's chunky. Just, <laughs> I don't want to eat it. I'll have nightmares. I'm going to straight have nightmares. I can't do it. some new Halloween flavors. Spooky ice cream flavors? Yes, but not just the spooky flavors. We're gonna try all the weird obscure flavors that they have to offer and see what it's about. I can't wait to get some ice cream. I'm a little worried about this. Why don't you join us? Let's go! Jazz Kitchen gonna get some lunch. We haven't been here in a really long time and the last time we were here it was I, years. It, and it has been like well over six years. Yeah. Last time we were here wasn't that great. So we're gonna give it another try and see if it's any better. Yeah. So we got our reservation in and let's get some lunch. So we finally got seated here at Jazz Kitchen. Um, we came right a little before 11 and put our name in. They don't take reservations. They're walk-up only. Right. And we requested to sit up at the bar or up on the balcony. On the balcony. The, the seating was a little... It was a little hectic. Yeah. Um, but, I'm, I mean, we got, a, we got a nice table here. I'm just going to chalk it up to it just opened, you yeah. know? Yeah. So. Um, also, when you are seated, they give you little bags plastic bags to put your um, face mask in and they give you little hand sanitizer wipes too yeah i've never been at a, a place at downtown disney or at knott's berry farm where yeah. they hand you that that's actually pretty good because then you're not putting it on the table i ordered the blackened salmon i don't normally eat salmon <laughs> but it sounded really good we're not salmon people we like halibut and stuff like that yeah. but good for her I got um, two starters. I got the gumbo and the Dippin' Tots, which looked interesting. So we'll, we'll see, see what, what they uh, are. Yeah, we'll see what it is when it gets here, right? So for our drinks, I got a plain old Diet Coke. Casey got the specialty season drink, which is the Booberry Hobgoblin. Cast a little spell and create a little mischief this fall. By refreshing yourself with a blend of the herbaceousness of mint and the essence of blueberry. Blueberry, it should say. So, <laughs> I'm not a fan of blueberry. <laughs> I am. Um, it looks like a lemonade, like looks at like the bottom, lemonade. with See, mint. Different colors. It is pretty. Yeah, right? it is I'll a very, that. it's a very, very pretty drink. Yeah, lots of mint. Lots of mint. Um, We know her. It's not bad, but I don't know what that flavor is. That is not a blueberry found in nature. So it tastes like a foot. <laughs> it's fizzy. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, but it doesn't taste like Sprite. It tastes like, um, like a sparkling water. No, but yeah, like a, um, like a flat Sprite. <laughs> So, uh, Casey stirred it up a bit. Stirring it helped. Not a lot. Like, it did help overall. I think maybe the flavors were layered. And so, like, I took my knife and I just gave it a little stir, pushed some yeah. of the mint down. It now tastes like a mint lemonade. Yeah, they don't give you a lot of that blueberry in there. So, I mean, that's good for her. But, I mean, if you're going to tell me there's blueberry, it did say, I guess it did say a hint of. Yeah, yeah. But definitely, yeah. like, if you get it, give it a stir. Get yeah. all the flavors together. Right. And it is a little better. It tastes like a bubbly, minty lemonade. 
Yeah. I will say this. The drink itself is $14. Yeah. And I I mean, I'm going to drink it all because it's $14. But I would not order this again. I'm glad I got a Diet Coke. I will be partaking in part of her Diet Coke. Yeah. 100%. So our food has arrived, and man, I wish we filmed our food arriving because the waiter was very professional, and he did a really cute little presentation of Casey's gumbo. He didn't. If I would have known it would have been done like that, I definitely would have recorded it. Yeah, it was in two little um, silver containers, really cute containers that sat in the bowl, and he picked them up and poured them at the same time, and it was actually kind of cool. Yeah, it was very cool yeah. to watch. So here's what the food looks like. Here's the blackened salmon and it comes with a little garnish of lemon. This looks like um, greens and some rice. It looks amazing. I do love greens um, and I like rice. Um, not a huge salmon fan, but I'm gonna give this a try. So it's a little fishy, but I think that's how salmon is. But the crust um, on here, as you can see, all the seasonings and stuff in there. That's a good. It's a good pink in there. That's how salmon's supposed to be. The crust on the outside is really good. I plan on eating my gumbo, but I need a spoon. <laughs> so we're gonna wait. Um, for the waiter to get and what we'll get here and while I wait I did get the tater tots it's called dippin tots so this is like a sriracha aioli and then this is what I'm assuming is like a ranch so let's give it a go we're gonna try the ranch first that's good I like that sauce that sauce is a little sweet though um so it's not a ranch it's it tastes like a ranch, but like a sweet ranch. It's not bad. I don't hate it. Um, now I'm going to try the sriracha, which we do have a drink on hand. The heat takes a minute, and it builds on your tongue, but it's not horrible. Um, it is a little spicy, but it's not super horrible. I got a spoon. Yay. All right. So the gumbo has chicken, adalui sausage in it, rice, um, that looks like a little bit, no that's a sausage, there's no shrimp in it, and um, vegetables. So let's give it a go, I want to get a little bit of everything, alright, ready? I need salt. Um, it's it's not bad. It looks hearty. Is it not hearty? It's hearty, but there's not a lot of flavor to it. It's a little disappointing. It's nothing to write home about. I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's not. It doesn't taste bad, so that that's a plus. But it just it doesn't really have a flavor, you know. So I'm gonna see if I can get some salt and pepper. Maybe give it a little zhuzh. Might put some hot sauce in it. See if that helps it out a little bit. But all in all nothing to write home about so again diane doesn't like my review so she's gonna give it a go or is it that diane just loves to eat more i don't know let's figure that out okay here we go it's very meaty it's a little spicy again i think in casey's old age she's losing her taste because i it's the heat is starting to come up a little more and I love hot stuff. Um, I would throw some hot sauce in that, but I like it. That's good. It's a good, good hearty. This would be good during um, like the when it gets cold, if it ever gets cold here. It's good. I like it. Maybe you should have ordered it. Maybe. bone this is why diane doesn't eat fish <laughs> i tried the salmon it's not bad um i mean i wouldn't eat any more after i pulled that out of my mouth but um and that glaze is so good that sauce yeah, that's on the I'm, side i don't know if it's in the rice i'm saying mm -hmm. 
There's a little sweet in the greens. They probably put sugar in it. Yeah, there's the greens. It's got a little sweet taste. You can taste it. She doesn't like it. I, well, I don't like I that. I like sweets. I like greens. I don't like those greens. So we made it to Salt and Straw. I say we go in and get some funky Halloween flavors. I'm a little scared, but let's do it. Let's do it. We're sitting down, we got our ice cream. We also got a drink of Topo Chico, just in case. Salt and straw, so, it's Portland-based ice cream. Right, so I am a little nervous, <laughs> just yeah. because these are the weird flavors. We're gonna try the creepy, crawly. We have the Great Candy Copia Scoop, which is a candy, it says, a darkness falls across the land. The candy making hour is close at hand. Swarms of house made trick or treat favorites. Ultimately, it looks like vanilla ice cream with Reese's peanut butter cups in it. Mm -hmm. It is. It's good. It's exactly what it tastes like. I mean, if you're into the Reese's peanut butter cup thing, I love Reese's peanut butter cups. So, this next one I'm a little worried about. It's the. Creepy crawly critter scoop. Ooh, I, don't, um, I don't know. Dozens of critters are hiding in the grass by way of this matcha ice cream with toffee. So it's oh my God. matcha and toffee ice cream. Okay. With bugs. So I don't know if that's a big bug <laughs> or what that is. I'm gonna make her eat it. Oh, was it a big bug? Oh my God, no, it wasn't. Was it really? Oh, <laughs> you wanna, she's just gonna swallow it. That was all a big bug. She swallowed a bug. That was a mean trick, she just. Was that really, oh, is that what that is? Um, oh, oh, I don't wanna touch it. Oh, the aftertaste. Is that really a bug? Die, just swallow it. I'm saying, I'm, I'm no. telling you, love, I love you. Don't chew it. Look at, that's a bug. Don't chew it. I don't know if I could do this. It's stuck in my teeth. I'm like, do it. Do it. No, I can't. Lady, you made me do it. You better do I it. I cannot do this. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a bug. Why do I want to eat a bug? It's chunky. I don't want to do it. It's chunky. Just, <laughs> I don't want to eat it. I'll have nightmares. I'm going to straight up have nightmares. I can't do it. Oh, it's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good Lord. I already did it. I'm not doing it again. I'm not taking that one for you. How about if I take like a little bite? I can't eat that big chunk of, cho of chocolate. Chocolate bug? Bug! <laughs> big chunk of chocolate bug. Why is it huge bug. like that? No, you did not. You did not. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna just take a bite of pumpkin. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> Get that one out of my mouth. So the other, the other ones that, that we have frightening. are the Arbequina olive oil. Okay, I gotta... I got a taste of pumpkin. It's that syrupy stuff on the bottom. So, Good, huh? so okay. it's Arbequina olive oil. Okay. And we have the pear and blue cheese. The pear, the great Genovian pear and blue cheese dessert. dessert. So that was the pear. I don't know if there's chunks of blue cheese in here. It just looks like vanilla ice cream, like both of them. I mean, I'll say this after eating the bug, this is great. Yeah. Um, and then this is one is that blue is, cheese, like a little blue yeah. cheese thing. And then this one right here. No, that was a little pear. Oh, this one is the olive oil. Mm -hmm. I like it.
nothing's as bad as the creepy crawlies. Um, I'm 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 distraught over that. Um, I had a little leg, and she had the big chunk body. Out of all of it, the pumpkin is the best. I'm gonna go with the the Genovian pata and blue cheese. By the way, don't go there ordering the Genovian pata and blue cheese. It's it's just, just pear, pear and, blue and blue cheese. Um, yeah, that one wasn't the worst. I don't care for blue cheese. I don't like the sh- the, the 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 flavor of that. You the, don't really get blue cheese. The funginess of it. Um, but, but you like a a good bug? No, that was not delish. Um, I I have no words for that one. The ca- creepy candy one, that one was good. The candy, candy copia, the, yeah, the Reese's. Yeah, Reese's, yeah. Big chunks of Reese's. That's yeah. the kind of big chunks I'll take, not big chunks of bug body. So I will say this, out of all of it, out yeah. of the five flavors we got, the pumpkin was the best, in my opinion. And it was vegan. It was vegan. Yeah. Um, I will not order any of these again. Which, you know, those who don't know, vegan is non-dairy, so that's good. I like non-dairy. I don't, I don't do a lot of dairy. Would you order any of these again? I would. I would order um, the pumpkin, which is probably just seasonal. I like the pear and blue cheese and um, the olive oil one wasn't bad. I mean, the name of it's a little scary because you're like olive oil in my ice cream. It was good. I liked it. Uh, bugs, bugs, stay away. Yeah. Um, I mean, we tried it. We could say that we tried it. I got a leg. That's all I got to say. It's still, like, I still feel it. I need to we'll have a go home tonight. and water pick the heck out of my nightmare mouth. tonight. Um, all in all, I think it was a good day. Yeah. For, for me personally, the food that we had were almost all misses. At least the food that I ordered. And that's fine. We did Ralph Brennan's. I had tried the gumbo like over six years ago and it was god awful. It tasted like Dentimore beef stew for any of you who know what that is. <laughs> the can. Yeah. So what I had today was a vast improvement. Um, I think it needed a little more seasonings, but it wasn't it wasn't horrible. We'll definitely go back. Yeah. Um, and I enjoyed um, my blackened salmon with the rice. Um, the rice had... Green onions. Green, green onion, onion rice, it. yeah. Um, and the greens were sweet. Um, not overly sweet, but they were sweet. I think, to me, it tastes like pineapple, um, which normally I don't put sweet in, in our greens. And that sauce, that lemon butter sauce or whatever it was on her plate was so, so good. good. It added to that flavor of the blackened salmon. And I'm not a salmon eater, so um, And you I only really... got one bone. I did that that little bone I showed you. That was it, by the way. Um, that's kind of why I, I stay away from fish, because I always get a bone. If anybody's gonna get a bone, it's me. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it a lot, and we'll go back to Ralph Brennan's. We'll give them a, another try. We saw other dishes that looked really good. Yeah, there's we'll a couple a a couple of dishes that came by that I thought, ooh, I want to try that. Ooh, I want to try that. So yeah. we'll definitely come back. We're yeah. not a, a one one time and done kind of kind of yeah. couple. So no. it was good all in all. It was a good little date date day. Get out, have some yeah. have some lunch, lunch and dessert, dessert and walk around. And bugs. And... And... <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> If you're up for adventure, I thought the bugs were going to be tiny. That was a big, huge, you saw it. Big, huge, chunky chocolate bug. I'm still fishing it out of my tooth. Told you, I'm going to have a nightmare from that. Let me kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did overall have a good time. Thank you for our, our lunch date at yeah. Downtown Disney. And yeah. remember, folks, if you liked our video, please click that like button and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. We're new. So we can use all the help we can get. Give us a little click, click on that bell. You'll get new reminders. You'll get reminders of when our new videos drop. Yep. Um, ch- check us out on Facebook. All right, Facebook. That's Take that so away. Old. Check us out on Instagram. Um, yeah. We're on Instagram and Twitter. And Twitter. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. And we're going to leave you with the movie quote. So the movie quote from my favorite emotion from Inside Out, Anger. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians and now you. Congratulations, Salt and Straw. You've ruined ice cream. And you're going to give me nightmares.